But today, the people of Doncaster were coming to terms with the fact that they no longer have a team in the Football League. I think it's sad. I think it's very sad. I'm sorry to see him go. I'll come back. We've seen it coming, didn't we, really? Disappointed? Yeah. Because it puts yeah. us on the map. Some fans would have bet on them being relegated before the season even started, but local bookies wouldn't give them a price. The club that went into administration during the summer soon became the whipping boys of the third division. And after just three games, popular manager Kerry Dixon walked, no longer able to tolerate interference in his team selection. The position isn't great, obviously, at the moment. We, we, we've not got any points. We're not bottom of the league. We've, we, we've scored one of the goals. We will pull out of it. I can assure them of that. We won't be sat at the bottom for very long. Well, that wasn't good enough for the fans who staged endless protests to oust Mark Weaver and the club's benefactor, Ken Richardson. Rumours of a takeover were rife. The Essex nightclub owner, Anton Johnson in the moustache here, was the front runner. But as negotiations off the pitch stalled, results on it went from bad to worse. The takeover never happened and as managers came and went, it seemed that nothing could stop their free fall from the football league. In a further bizarre twist, general manager Mark Weaver registered himself as a player. The coaching staff were sacked, best players sold. And it all came to a head on Saturday at Chester City. It's now, now that it counts. We go and do it now for 90 minutes. Don't be thinking tomorrow morning in your bed. But if given a bit more, we'd still be in the league. A team largely made up of inexperienced teenagers were relegated. The fans had been resigned to it, but the players were absolved of the blame. You lads in here aren't to blame for this, lads. Don't you worry about that. You get this off your shoulders, eh?